Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, the next few days I'm going to concentrate my activities on the sky and things that we can see in the sky both in the daytime and at night. And this week, because we're going to have some lovely weather, some nice clear skies at night time, it's a really, really good time to have a look at the night sky. And probably the most obvious thing to see in the sky at night is the moon. So my challenge to you is to make a moon diary to keep track of what we call the phases of the moon and to notice how the moon changes over a period of time. So the first thing that you'll need for your moon diary is to make yourself some sort of moon chart. So something that looks like this. So this is just a piece of card and what you notice is that I've split it up into a grid and I've got six across and five down. So I've actually got 30 spaces on my moon chart and that's enough to keep track of the moon for a whole month. So what I've done is I've split it up into squares and then in each square you need to either draw a circle, I've just drawn a circle in each square, I drew round the end of a glue stick and I coloured it in black or if you've got black paper or black card you could cut out some black circles and stick one on each square. Now the reason we do them in black is because the moon is not a shining thing there. So one of the words that you need to know when you're looking at the moon is to do with what makes things luminous, what makes things give out light. So light comes from light sources like things like the sun and it is reflected from the moon. The moon isn't a shiny object itself, it doesn't give out its own light, it reflects light from the sun. So mainly the moon is a dark object and that's why we've got black circles on our moon chart. So here is a picture of the moon that I found to show you. And I've said that the moon mainly is a dark object. If it wasn't for the sun, we wouldn't be able to see the moon at all. And it's only because some sunlight shines on the moon and the moon reflects that sunlight that we're able to see parts of the moon. And as the moon and the earth and the sun all change their positions over the course of the month, different parts of the moon light up. The sun shines on different parts of the moon and that's why we get the, the phases of the moon changing. So on this picture, this side of the moon is the bit that the sun is shining on. So the sun would be somewhere off to the side over here, shining on this side of the moon. And this part of the moon is in shadow, that bit is dark. So if you were to look up and see this moon in the night sky, you would see this shape that we call a crescent, a crescent shape. Sometimes the bit of the moon that is that we can see, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's called waning. So when the, when the moon is waning, it's growing, it's getting bigger and bigger, further towards a full moon. The full moon is when the whole moon is lit up and other times it is waxing, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, more towards the crescent moon and that's when we say that it is waxing, it's getting smaller. So, I looked out at the moon last night and you don't need any special equipment to look at the moon at night, you just have to go out after dark when the sky is clear and look at the moon. Um, sometimes the moon is visible early on in the night, sometimes it's visible early in the morning, it just depends on the, the phase of the moon that we're in. So last night we had a crescent moon, so I want to record that on my chart, which is just blown away. Let me just grab that and weigh that down. So here's what you need to do. Once you've been out and you've looked at the phase of the moon, seen what shape it is, you need to get a little piece of tin foil and I'm going to draw around my glue stick and I'm going to cut myself a circle of tin foil that's the same size as my circle on my chart. So each night when I do this, I'm going to go out and cut myself a circle. So if I just cut this out like that, so this would be this 
photography if it was a full moon but last night wasn't a full moon it was a crescent moon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw onto my piece of tin foil what shape the moon was it was it wasn't quite half full it was more like that and I'm going to just cut away the bit that was dark so that what I've got left is the shape that the moon was last night which was sort of that sort of shape and I'm going to stick that I'm going to glue that down onto my first dark circle like this I'm going to put a bit of glue on the back and then I'm going to glue it on and this is my first moon shape here we go there we go so that's what the moon looked like last night when I looked at it and I'm going to write there I'm going to label that night one like that so I've started my moon diary and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out every night and notice what shape the moon is cut out my circle and trim it to give the shape of the moon that night and I'm going to gradually fill up my moon diary for a whole month so that I can notice how the phases of the moon change over that month. Now some nights it might be a bit cloudy, we might not get to see the moon that night and that's fine, all you do is you leave a space for that night. So if you can't see the moon on a particular day, just leave a space and then have a go the next day. And after a month we'll have a wonderful record of how the moon's phase changes over the course of a month. So. I hope you have a good time looking at the moon tonight and tomorrow I'm going to show you some other things you can look out for in the night sky. Bye!